so let's get into the contents of the topic so the contents are basic concepts of sand then we are learning about the purpose and san and other storage solutions and finally the conclusion introduction so just assume that there are two servers server a and server b and each have their own storage system so when these servers get requests or workloads from clients at some point the storage of server a gets loaded it can be due to some application run by client and it can't take the request from the clients anymore but the server b is still free and it has storage so in this kind of situation we use san implementation so san stands for storage area network and it is a specialized network that connects storage devices to the servers provided high speed access to data storage resources so by introducing storage pool which consists of multiple disks so you can consider this as the storage pool and it has multiple disks in it um and these are connected to the external servers uh, these are connected through uh, to the external server through the uh, fc switch which is a uh, fiber channel switch so let us see the basic concepts of a uh, storage area network so storage devices um storage devices are like uh, disk arrays tape libraries and ssds fiber channel or ethernet they are used as a transport protocol which is you which can do the data transfer thing and switches and routers uh, san employs switches and routers to connect storage de devices to servers and storage virtualization they often incorporate storage virtualization so which allows multiple physical storage devices to be managed as a single logical unit so high availability so they are designed for high availability and reliability which features like redundancy failover and disaster recovery so let us see the purpose of san it is a centralized storage because it makes it easier to manage and allocate storage capacity to servers and applications and it is high performance as it provides high speed data access and it is ideal for applications that require low latency and high throughput such as databases and virtualized environments and scalability it it can scale to accommodate growing storage uh, needs by adding more storage devices or by expanding the existing ones without uh, interrupting the operations and data protection so it offers an advanced data protections features like snapshots replications and encryption ensuring uh, data integrity and security and it is a simplified management so it streamlines storage management task through uh, centralized management tools reducing uh, administrative overhead and complexity so let us see how san differs from other storage solutions so there are uh, different storage solutions here we have considered direct attached storage uh, network attached storage and of course storage area network so in direct uh, attached storage there is a server which is directly connected to the storage disk there is no um, intermediate switches and in uh, network attached storage um there is a intermediate switch called uh, ethernet switch which is uh, connected in the lan to the storage disk and san is connected through a intermediate switch um called the fiber channel switch in san network to the storage uh, disks so direct attached storage so it is directly attached 
attaches uh, storage devices uh, to individual servers and here each servers uh, manage its own storage leading to limited scalability a simple example of this is an external hard drive connected through a usb cable so so next uh, is a network attached storage so it provides a file level storage over a local area network so it uses ethernet as a transport protocol and is typically accessed over tcp ip and um, nas devices have built in uh, file systems and are ideal for sharing files among multiple users or servers uh, example is that a home network attached a home network attached storage devices that stores and shares uh, media files with multiple devices like computers smart TVs and smartphones so let us look into sand so sand is basically used in medium to large size businesses uh, primarily due to larger in initial investments so it requires a setup consisting of uh, disk controllers sand switches host bus adapters and fiber cables so the main benefit to a sand based storage solution is the ability to share the storage arrays uh, to multiple servers so this allows you to configure the storage capacity as needed usually by a dedicated san administrate uh, administrative so higher levels of performance uh, throughput are typically in san environment and data is highly available through redundant disk so it is typically used in data centers enterprises or virtual computing environments and it is flexible and reliable over um, network accessed storage um, example is an enterprise sand solution that provides shared storage for virtualized servers running business critical applications like databases and email servers so finally we'll conclude that um, san is a specialized network that centralizes storage resources providing high speed access to block level storage for servers and applications unlike um, direct attached storage and network attached storage it offers a uh, superior performance scalability and advanced data protection features making it ideal for enterprise environments with demanding storage requirements thank you